with our Bali B, Daniel Pele. Yes. Now, Anushka, Deepika, and Ranveer will not leave the headlines, will they? No, they won't. And neither will pornography, <laughs> robbery, police complaints, and J Lo. There's been a lot happening this week. Now, let's start off by talking about the man that's always on my radar, Ranveer Singh. Ranveer Singh. His girlfriend, Deepika, she could possibly be facing two years in jail plus a 2,000 rupee fine, which is $32.24 US. Okay? For what? For kissing him. Well, he kissed her on the cheek just before he went on stage for the roast, the AIB roast. Yes, we're still talking about it. <laughs> and they have been accused of selling pornography oh in a public God. place. What? A kiss? I mean, I can understand if Sunny Leone got that charge, mm -hmm. but maybe Gone Renvere, it was just a little kiss. But not even because every actor under the sun needs to be charged the same way then. Like, exactly. What is this? And let's not forget, Renvere and Deepika did a lot more in Ram Leela. Mm -hmm. You remember that song sequence than they did at the roast. It just seems like any one of these actions results in some sort of charge. misconduct or charge against or the conviction. Indian culture. You know, it's, it's just a kiss. Everybody does it. And they're you a can't couple. Stop them. And they're a couple. Now, you know what? Anushka is also being dragged into the mix here because they're saying that he could possibly have be, you know, still talking. Talking to her, they're just friends. They just appreciate one another. But on the topic of pornography, Kangana mm Ranaut, -hmm. where's the connection? She apparently had an affair with Aditya Pancholi during the first few years of her career. Okay. Do you know who Aditya no, Pancholi is? No, I have no idea. Go on. You know what, honey? He hasn't been on our screens for a long time. <laughs> but they were a couple back then. You never know what these actresses have to do to get to the top, okay? But now he's writing a tell-all book, oh and it seems goodness. very coincidental to me that she is now writing off the success of Queen, and he's trying to come in and release his book during this time. But they do look like a cute couple. I got to give. Them they do, and you yeah. know what? If they were together, you know, kudos to her because it got her to the top, and she now has a film fair award for best actress. And they okay? have some cute babies. Yes, yes, they would. <laughs> I think so too. But now on to the next Bollywood diva, Sonam Kapoor. Okay. She has been robbed, child. Ro Sonam Kapoor. She has been robbed. A necklace worth five lakh has been taken right from a drawer in her bedroom. No way. Yes, and she has filed a police complaint. There's a police complaint trend that's happening in Bollywood right now. Wow. Now she, a lot of people don't know that celebrities are loaned items. Yeah. A lot of the jewelry that Sonam Kapoor wears, a lot of her clothes, some of the makeup that she puts on her face is all worth probably 5,000 lakhs or more. It's stuff that is loaned to her. Yes. So she now feels the responsibility in returning this piece. They could be diamonds from Africa, from China, you know, maybe even from India itself. It's worth money. Well, this necklace, is this the one that was stolen? You know what, I tried to do my research and I think every single piece she has ever worn has been worth 10,000 lakh or over, so I couldn't really tell the difference, to be completely honest with you. But she has been robbed. The last person who I ever thought would be robbed right from her own home. Right, well, that necklace yes. does no. look better on her than someone else. I'm sorry, because <laughs> she appreciates absolutely. it. Absolutely, and if she's not in the news for a film, which is very rare these days, she's <laughs> in still in the news for fashion, whether it's something that she's been robbed for or not. Okay. And now we have to go to Jennifer Lopez. Oh. You know, she came to Lopez. India. She was in Bollywood. Now, Jennifer Lopez's signature songs, one of them was My Love Don't Cost a Thing, mm -hmm. right? Her love cost $2 million. Oh. Oil tycoon Sanjay Hinduja had a wedding, held it in Mumbai, Tons of glitz and glamour. Ranveer Singh, Arjun Kapoor, even Nicole Scherzinger from the Pussycat Dolls right. was there as well. He paid $2 million for J-Lo to come to India for her first time and perform at his wedding. Okay, now, let's I, talk about her booty. Yes, Looks amazing, please. but how is she not getting charged? For pornography, her <laughs> booty's all over the place. And she even made some sexual remarks about orgasms and such on stage with her music. Wow. If that's not pornography, I don't think a kiss would be. My goodness, she yes. looks hot. This is her first time she to India. Does. I wish she actually would have signed on to an Indian film. That well, would have been my Bollywood dream come true. Pointed because I was hoping that her first Bollywood connection or trip to India would have resulted in some sort of Bollywood collaboration. Right. But maybe this performance would be the first step towards that. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about someone else who is dancing, not in a Bruno Mars video or on a pole as we've seen before. <laughs> let's talk about Frida Pinto, who we adore. Well, she is back dancing her way back on screen in a true story called Desert Dancer. It's very moving and it's all set to release across North America this April. Take a look.